guys and welcome back to Gathering Rust Hobby Farm. Today we're going to talk about the RK25 and the question has been asked, will it fit in a seven foot garage door? Standard garage door? The quick answer is no. But I found a trick that will help you fit it in your standard garage door. Now I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make the tractor fit in a standard garage door. First thing is pretty obvious. You're going to pull the pins that are holding the rocks. Then, you're going to lower it down. Now, it's still not going to fit. At this point, you can see where it doesn't clear the top. Now, I'm going to measure it, and we'll see where we're at there. And just for the record, my door is 7 feet tall and nine feet wide and I measured it um, and it's 73 and a half on one side and 73 on the other. My garage needs a lot of attention. We plan on rebuilding a new one um, but that's what I'm working with so you have the exact dimension. Okay, so mine measures out um, just right under 85 inches. Um, at the tallest point. I've heard that uh, some people's are even measuring 86 to 88. Um, I think part of that has to do with the fact that I have a backhoe on mine. Um, so it kind of, you know, obviously brings it down a little bit with the extra weight. But I will tell you, um, this is one of those uh, things that that matter if you have a back on you're gonna have some weight um, But either way what I'm about to show you is gonna work um, So here we go Okay, so you can see right here where It lowers down and you got your this is the protection system around the lights and the Bluetooth speakers and I'm going to show you something on the back that that helped me really lower this ROP system down okay you can see right here I'm on the back side and this is the ROPs that I just folded down now if you look closer when they install the protection system here for the speakers and the lights. You can see that this is actually hitting the frame right there. And so here is the simple fix. You take these four bolts 
out well just loosen them this whole system right here will scoop down that's going to give more flexibility and it's going to go down and give you more clearance and i'll show you the process as i go First, I'm gonna put this back up. And just put one pin in to hold it. I'm gonna do the other side first, but you need a 12 millimeter wrench, 12 millimeter socket or power tool if you have one. Okay, I just loosened them, but you can see once I loosened that last one, how it fell down. See how it's angled? On this side, there's a little bracket here. I'm supposing it's for, you know, another tractor that uses the same ROPS, and they probably mount something there. But nonetheless, it is um, there. And so on this side, that's where I'm going to put it. Okay, so if you leave it hang there, you can see how it's like this. You want to push up against the rocks there, right there. And it's got a locking washer, a lock washer. So if you've got a power tool, it'll, it'll tighten too and as you push that way. said you want to push the inside bolt toward the rocks you got a power tool don't go too much there you go we're gonna do the same thing on the other side Okay, we're going to do the same thing on this side. Now on this side, it doesn't have a, a bracket on the frame like that one does. So you'll have to eyeball it. Okay, that's all there is to it. Now I will show you the difference and how much more it brings that rock stem.
pull your pin out, pull your wraps down. Now you can see up there how much of a difference that's made. We'll actually measure it. So they dropped me under 80 inches and I'll show you uh, where, where the difference is where I move that bracket. Okay so you can see here where I moved the bracket down here and then put the rops back down you can actually see where it's been hitting right here the rops when it comes down it's been hitting right there and now you can see the rops is flush on the rops right there and it allowed it to come down that much okay i know it's hard for you to see actually how tall it is on the actual door so I'm going to open the door up and then you'll be able to see a lot better and I will actually back the tractor underneath the opening there and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, we got the camera lined up. Now you can see up above exactly how tall it is on this seven foot tall door. <laughs> Okay, so we backed up the tractor to where it fits underneath the door. I've got a whole hand here. I've got a tape measure. On this side, we've got three and three quarters. On this side, we're at four and three eighths. Three and three quarters, four and three eighths. My garage door is a little janky. That's why we're building a new building. But as you can see, this trick, it worked for me. So there it is, and now you have it, folks. It will fit in to a seven-foot door if you do this simple trick.